folks welcome back to the channel um as you can see winter has kind of took a dump on us again today so now we're gonna get loaded i've strategically placed all my chains and binders under the okay i just, this is where they were laying from last week but we're also gonna need this to because i'll show you As you can see, we've been doing some work and doing some sitting, looking at the car. I need to get this chain unhooked. Oh, well, that's lovely. Um, I need to get this chain unhooked from last week. What's wrong with that hat? Yeah, nothing. <laughs> Is that better? <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> All right. Anyway, I need to unhook this chain and not knock my teeth out in the process. So hopefully this will be enough to kind of do the thing and get my chains back because we need these to tie the car down. Did I mention it's cold? <laughs> no, <laughs> not too bad out. <laughs> Are you feeling okay? <laughs> <laughs> no, I have been sick actually. <laughs> Ear infection. Oh, okay. nothing, nothing contagious. <laughs> I tried a home remedy yesterday for it. You know what I tried? Healing crystals. <laughs> no. Please say healing crystals. <laughs> no, I heard that if you boil an onion in, <laughs> in hot water, and then you take that onion and you wrap it in a cloth and put it on your ear, <laughs> it'll somehow magically pull out all the toxins well at first it worked great and then all of a sudden it just got way worse so i had to bite the bullet and call the doctor <laughs> damn no insurance um <laughs> i'm gonna go get the other binder on a serious note i can't believe that didn't work I know, shocking. All right, this is this is not doing like I hoped it would. Anything else new and exciting? Mm. You know, pretty much that. <laughs> if you'd like to borrow some of my healing crystals and aromatherapy. I'm probably going to need them, yes. Can we bring them? <laughs> I still, I'm still shocked that uh, <laughs> boiling an onion and putting it on your head <laughs> didn't work. It's, apparently it's been tried and true, you know, from the 19th century, but. <laughs> from the 19th, from like pioneer times. <laughs> back when people died when yeah. they were like 10 years old? Yeah, yeah. Okay. You, you know, the simple times. Gotcha. <laughs> anyway, folks, the plan today is we are going to get, now I've had a bunch of comments. The channel's really blew, blown, sorry, blown up since we drug this one home. And all the new people, thank you so much. We've got a ton of comments. I respond to all the comments in the most timely manner possible because I do have to sleep and go to work sometimes. But uh, yeah, all the new people, welcome. My name is Nate. This is what I'm into, basically. Usually there's less snow. However, today, you know, we're just, it's whatever. Some people are saying the black car is like a 50, I've had everything from 58 to 57, so I really don't know what the hell we're going to pick up today. But it's a four door, something kind of close to these. So I guess one thing we can tell the folks at home for sure is do not come here for medical advice. <laughs> Believe it or not, we are not doctors. <laughs> I may have a book on the lost herbal remedies. <laughs> you need to throw that book in the trash. You put an onion on your head. <laughs> on my ear. <laughs> and it worked for a little bit. <laughs> I just smelled really bad. Like <laughs> I feel like I can still smell it. 
<laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> okay, so that only took way too long. There Woo! We go. Victory. Score one for the doctors. <laughs> okay, so now in a perfect world, this truck is going to start. So I can pull it up because I'd like the new car to go back there where that the uh, old addition to the nasty custom shop is. Now it's been plugged in for a whopping uh, 15 minutes. But surely it's enough. I mean, it's only like 12 degrees, you know? I think it's eight. Oh, <laughs> even better. I doubt it's going to do the thing, but. A guy's got to try. Here, I got to move the bed. Oh, we got the bed off the truck. I'll throw the clip in of uh, Guess I got to always just hit it with my purse. Good enough. There's, there goes the neighbor. They've got to love what I'm doing around here, just killing property values up and down this road <laughs> with my with my garbage. Okay. All right. We'll let that thing. I. So it's got one good battery in it. Good battery, so I really don't expect this to do anything. See this place, this is a shock face. Ooh, okay, so. We'll just kind of give that a second. driving on a sheet of ice <laughs> it's uh as you can see out front of here we've got the blowing snow the ice it's a beautiful day we're just kind of taking her nice and slow and easy i'm gonna try my damnedest not to wreck this so do you really need this car what do you mean I don't know. I mean, you kind of have enough in the yard, don't you? Um, Why? Well, uh, does anybody really need anything? Actually, shit, I think we got, I think we got a flat tire on the trailer. Where at? Back on your side. Hang on. Would you mind jumping out and checking that for me? Yeah. Here, I'll hold the camera. I just see something flapping around back there, so. On the trailer? Yeah. <laughs> okay, so Bob, today it's me and Bob. We're out here. Don't fall. Get back. Folks, that was a joke. I wouldn't leave her on the side of the road. She doesn't really mean that either. She. How many cars can Where I have? <laughs> Get Bob, out. what do you think? <laughs> Get out! <laughs> How much is this? Um, enough! So, yeah, we got the money. And we're here. <laughs> Bob, what's wrong, baby? It was right there in front of us. I didn't even notice. 
Oh, we got cats scattering. <laughs> This one's kind of a rock box. Granted, this is a different year, but we have an instrument cluster. And uh, media main six, we might have some seats for you between the two of these cars. So this here is a four door unit. It is different in the back, but I guess worst comes to worst, we can do something with all that. We just gotta go through and get it ready for the road, which means this, yeah, watch out, these are, Horrible. Okay, stay up. Thank you. So we'll just kind of... I don't even know if that's to this car, but that's okay. Check it out. So this is a crew cab. The interior is in a lot better shape. Still not good. This might have been an air conditioning car. Wow. Ele this thing has electric windows. What? Yeah, this thing had power windows. It looks like some asbestos, <laughs> maybe. <laughs> Insulation, got more trim in here. Power brakes. We got three more wheels, which is good. Hopefully this will be halfway decent to unload. Uh, yeah. We're gonna go through the boring stuff of throwing trim and shit that's gonna fall off in the car and get her strapped down and ready to go. Best place ever. Uh, yeah, we didn't drive an hour to not have one quick lap. Where's your car you want? It's over here. It's the Le Car. It's a Le... <laughs> Come on, bro. It's a Le Car, folks. <laughs> oh, my Christ. <laughs> it's perfect. What? Look at that. It's Le Car. <laughs> it's my future baby. <laughs> Are you sure about that? Because I will bring this home if you really want it. Yeah. <laughs> oh my God. It's Who's not that bad of shank either. Yes, it, it, <laughs> these weren't good when they were new. What are you talking about? This is prime time. Oh my God. <laughs> what do you think, folks? I, you don't gotta show me I anymore. I got to, they I have could, to see it. I can see enough. That's nice. The Lacar. What do you think? I got some old 318 V8s. Do you think we could fit a 318 and a 727 in this bad boy? Someone say yes. <laughs> <laughs> Bob even thinks it's ridiculous. There you go, Uncle Tony. Not the uh, YouTube channel, my actual Uncle Tony. Might be something you need on that bad boy. And thanks again for the part to fix gym. It's up and going, and I appreciate the hell out of it. I'm getting every piece of her. I'm getting the most out of that $350.
get in there. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> okay, so we just fueled. But look what I got in the gas station. <laughs> A drinky bird. So I got you a nice <laughs> necklace. Oh my God, it's gorgeous. And we got the breakfast of champions. <laughs> See this? This is why all our shit in Illinois is rusted garbage. Jeez. Check it out, we're doing some sightseeing. I know it's not very spectacular, but I, Mainly we're just showing the car some sights since it hasn't been out in a long time. Kind of want to take it around. I don't know. It's a bridge with a roof. It's a bridge with a lid on it. Isn't it spectacular? Where even? Of course it's at the top. Okay, so that was, that one was a waste of time. Sad. Try the other one. Just for Are you going to get the front? Yeah. <laughs> Wait, where do you put it? <laughs> Why you know where? Ah, <laughs> oh, damn it. I don't think the mud grip's going to come out of it either. <laughs> All right. Not looking too hot. This one looks like it's got a tube in it, so we might. Oh, yeah. This one's just making all the noises. I don't know why I love airing these old tires up it, sometimes it works sometimes it doesn't other times they explode and hurts i think that one might be a winner well one out of four okay now the fun part here show them this I don't know why wood is involved in the uh, makeup of this car, but it is. So that's neat. Don't know how this is going to work out, but we're going to give it hell. I'm thinking once it starts moving, I'm just going to keep going. So this is a trick I learned back in uh, hauling old junk car school. Basically. Just get a bunch of snow, kind of throw it around. It's like a snowball fight, but for adult idiots. That'll kind of help it, you know, slide. Should be a little slick. I'm, just, <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm hard on equipment, believe it or not. I don't see it. <laughs> Every time this bumper jack comes out, it means things are not going well. There's not a whole lot of bumper here, so hopefully. I feel like I say hopefully way too much. Push the jack over. Or it's going to do that and just slip out. I need my big bar. There we go. Now it's, it's not good, but it's better. Tear the trim up. <laughs> Okay. 
Okay, now I'm gonna show you another trick. Let me get another jet hair, huh? See, it's good when you leave your tools out sometimes. We're getting hung up in the middle there. And my problem is, there's not a lot, but that one has a frame rail about there. So I'm gonna assume that this one does too. Hope this one does too. If we're lucky here, what's gonna happen is it's gonna kind of scoot on this jack and get over where it's center hung. But back way up on the other side of the Cummins because I'm gonna jerk it and this gets Hey, at least we didn't tear up the fenders. I can fix all this. So, uh, yeah, well, we're gonna be going to buy some angle iron and fixing this trailer. It's, uh, yeah. She's home. Wasn't the best. Gonna get all that crap out of there. I'll make it to where you'll never be able to tell this even happened until you watch the video. Oh. Like I said, his big question last time was you didn't tear the fenders up, did you? And if you'll notice, this fender is not torn up. I don't know how. Let's do a walk around in the car. <laughs> Let's show the folks what we got. Um, actually, the more I look at this bumper, the less bad I feel about that because it's kind of no down. Um, you know, it's got stuff. There's uh, hey, a muffler. Yep, I'd say this was a. Uh, anybody watching? They can just look at that and tell me what year this is. I think this might have been actually a 58. Maybe a 57, because that's the headlight bezel. Or bezel. I don't know how the hell I'm supposed to say that. So this is a this was a muffler. This is what mufflers look like when they uh go kind of south. Um what else? Just go away. We've got a completely destroyed front bumper, bumperette. What else? We got some more exhaust. On, was this under the car and just kind of migrated up through? I don't know. We got some more bent up trim. Like I said, I bought this car for these panels and now that I'm looking at them, they're kind of shit anyway. So mainly I just want this top piece. It did have the dual antennas, so this is, 
a little sad. This side here, this isn't a good side, okay? And uh, it's got the other one. This one still looks good if anybody out there needs it. And if you're fixing one of these cars up and happen to see anything usable that you might want or need, I'm very reasonable on pricing. I love that noise. Let's see this. Look at this. This is a power window car. It's got the dash and it's got 7277. I'd almost be willing to bet you that that's 170. So the interior is way more completer. Complete, sorry. There's another there's another bumper in here. The seats are not not good. <clears throat> yeah, power windows. Can you believe it? I love that fabric. Um, it smells a little worse than the last one. These side windows are definitely different from the two-door car. And, uh, up. Oh, looks like this thing even had electric seats. This was a really optioned out car. It's kind of sad about all this. Yeah, I might have overpaid at 350. I probably overpaid at 350. But some of these weird trim pieces, and like I'm not 100% sure if that cluster will fit. I'll have to do more looking and stuff. But if that fits my car, that's worth it. Uh, yeah. Kind of fucked her up on the dismount, but other than that, like I said, we'll go buy some angle iron and get this trailer fixed before we take it back. And yeah, that's 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 the car. It's got a six by nine in the back. What kind of radio does it have? Is it just a yeah, just standard? But you can see down there, it looks like it might have been an air conditioning car. So I know that heater control head unit will be worth some worth some money. Maybe we can get our 350 back. Power brake car, which I'm assuming is a lot of that. It does suck. This was a super nice car in its time. Not now. The windshield's busted. That's no good. But the windshields on these two cars are very different. Uh, I got good side glass. The rear glass is... I'm going to have to drag a hose out and wash all this salt off of it anyway. It's all that matters. Having fun. I really don't think anybody else was going to come save this car anyway. So, Yeah, next will be drag a hose out and clean it off. But I don't think I'm going to bore you people with that. Yeah, these doors are... These will go straight in the uh, scrap wagon. I'll take the windows out, this trim. Like I said, anything savable for either this car, my, co my car, or if you own one of these and see something you need. Like these weird trims, the windshield trim doesn't look terrible. Email me at nastycustoms5150 at gmail.com. I will not do shipping. We are located in central Illinois. And if anything out of this car can go to help somebody else's get going... Even better. But look at this. My dream cars. And now there's two of them here. That part sucks. But we're going to fix that. So it's going to be good. It's going to be fine. Yeah. Look how angry that thing looks. I brought you your little brother. Yeah, this thing's a piece of shit. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. This one's a lot rougher than I thought it was. But it's... There's a lot more 50 whatever Dodge this is here than not. So... And the work will continue on getting that. First, we got to get that truck naked and then set this on it. And we can use some of this stuff. Because I'm not a hunt. Looking at the dash hole, I actually think the cluster out of this car will work. So that right, just having an instrument cluster is worth the 350 we spent. So we're 500 for that car. 350 for this car, $850. That's a hell of a lot of rust. That's good. It's a good deal. 
I think that's it. Thank you all for watching. Uh, like I said, if you see anything you need, shoot me an email. I love the comments. It's cool to hear from everybody. I will respond to each and every one. Either I'll respond or Bubba will respond. So, <laughs> see y'all.